Major changes coming to Canadian immigration. What you need to know. The landscape of Canadian immigration is set to experience significant shifts, with key updates affecting international students, foreign workers, and the labor market. Here are the three major areas where changes are expected. First is Postgraduate Work Permits, PGWP, Overhaul Labor Market Impact Assessments, LMIA, Under Scrutiny and Reduction in Temporary Foreign Workers Are you facing challenges with your visa application or immigration status? We suggest reaching out to one of the hundred certified immigration experts via our website. Click on the link in the description box and the pinned comment below to find help. Now let's get back to the video and tell you about the Postgraduate Work Permits PGWP, overhaul. There'll be big changes for international students. Canadian Immigration Minister Mark Miller recently hinted at substantial changes to the Postgraduate Work Permit PGWP, program. This program, which allows international students to work in Canada after graduation, hasn't seen major updates in years. The proposed changes aim to extend work permits and possibly offer special considerations for students in high-demand fields such as healthcare and IT. Provincial initiatives and extensions in place Manitoba has already received a special public policy allowing 6,700 international students to extend their work permits for an additional two years. This move is seen as a pilot, potentially setting a precedent for other provinces if they present similar plans to support their labor markets. Now, let's talk about the Labor Market Impact Assessments, LMIA, under scrutiny. Beware of the crackdown on LMIA misuse. The IRCC is tightening regulations around the LMIA process due to reports of illegal sales and misuse by employers and immigration practitioners. The LMIA, which is essential for employers hiring foreign workers, has become a target for fraudulent activities. Expect more stringent checks and longer processing times as the government cracks down on these practices. There will be extended processing times. The processing times for LMIA applications have increased significantly, now taking up to six months for low-wage positions. This suggests enhanced verification processes are being implemented to curb illegal activities. Reduction in temporary foreign workers New policies to limit temporary residents During the recent FMRI meeting in Montreal, Officials discussed reducing the number of temporary residents, particularly foreign workers. The goal is to decrease the reliance on temporary foreign labor from 6.5% to 5%, which could result in major policy shifts affecting work permits and employment opportunities for foreign workers. Impact on employers and the labor market The Canadian government is concerned about employers becoming overly dependent on foreign workers. Future policies may encourage hiring more domestic workers and reducing the influx of temporary foreign labor. What to expect? Caregiver and agriculture programs. While changes loom, programs like the Home Support Worker and Agri-Food Pilot are expected to continue, albeit potentially in revised forms. These programs are crucial for addressing specific labor market needs. Permanent residency targets remain unchanged. Canada remains committed to welcoming half a million permanent residents annually, a target unchanged despite the new restrictions on temporary foreign workers. Stay informed. These upcoming changes highlight the dynamic nature of Canadian immigration policies. For those looking to move to Canada, staying informed and consulting with immigration experts is crucial. Follow Canadian immigration updates closely to navigate these changes effectively. 
We value your voice. Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Your feedback is crucial as we delve into the intricacies of Canadian immigration policies. Stay tuned for more updates and insights in our next edition.